Behavioral interviews are a common technique used by employers to assess a candidate's past experience and determine if they have the skills and qualities needed for the job. However, many candidates make common mistakes that can negatively impact their chances of getting hired. In this video, we'll compare the right and wrong way of attempting a behavioral interview. But before we move into the video, do subscribe to The Fluent Life. Good morning. Thank you for coming in today. Can you start by telling me about a time when you had to work hard under a tight deadline? Um, I'm not sure. Can you give me a moment to think? Sure. Take your time. Um, okay. I remember one time when I had to work on a project that had a very tight deadline. Oh my God. Did you just see what the candidate did here? The candidate is so unprepared for the first question and was unable to provide a specific example. This is a common mistake and shows a lack of preparation and forethought. Good morning. Thank you for coming in today. Can you start by telling me about a time when you had to work under a tight deadline? Sure. I recall uh, working on a project that had a very tight deadline. Our team was responsible for developing a new software feature and we had only two weeks to complete it. Well, can you describe your approach to completing the project? Well, I just tried to uh, get it done as quickly as possible. I worked hard to do my best. Well, the candidate right now is giving very vague answers and fails to describe their specific actions and decisions. This honestly makes it difficult for the interviewer to determine their skills and qualifications, which is one of the main purposes of this interview. Well, can you describe your approach to completing the project? Sure. So first I gathered the team and discussed the deadline with them. Then I divided the work into smaller tasks and assigned each task to, uh, to the team members based on their strengths and availability. I also set daily goals for the team and mon monitor our progress and to make sure that the work is on track. Okay, can you give me a specific example of how you approached the project and what you did to complete it on time? Uh, I just focused on the task ad that was handed to me and I tried to get them done effectively. Okay, now can you see what the candidate is doing here? The candidate has focused more on the outcome instead of the actions and decisions that led to the outcome. This makes it difficult for the interviewer to assess their problem-solving skills and decision-making skills. This is where your understanding of a behavioral interview is very critical. After all, what the interviewer is trying to see is how do you act during a high-pressure situation. Can you give me a specific example of how you approached the project and what you did to complete it on? Sure. So there was a time when one of our team members encountered a technical issue that was slowly down their progress. I scheduled a meeting with them and the technical team to find a solution to it. As a result, the issue was resolved quickly and the team members was able to get back on track. Can you tell me about a time when you had to work with a difficult team member? Um, there was this one team member who was always causing problems. They never listened to anyone and always had uh, to have their pay. It's really frustrating. Oh, well, can you tell me about a specific situation and how you dealt with this, with the difficult team member? Um, I just tried to avoid working with them as much as possible. I couldn't stand the way they acted and I didn't want to deal with their nonsense actually. The candidate, if you notice here, doesn't demonstrate enough self-awareness and fails to recognize the opportunities for growth and improvement. This can make it difficult for the interviewer to assess their adaptability and resilience within a job. Can you tell me about a time when you had to work with a difficult team member? Yes. There was a team member who had different communication styles and work habits from the rest of the team as well. I scheduled a one-on-one -on -one meeting with them to understand their perspective and discuss how we could work together effectively. Through open communication and collaboration, we were able to find 
common ground and work together effectively on future projects. Okay. Uh, can you tell me about a specific situation and how you dealt with this difficulty? Uh, there was a situation where the team member wasn't following the agreed upon a uh, project plan. So I scheduled another one-on-one -on -one meeting with them and discuss the situation and find out what was causing the issue. It turned out that they had misunderstood the plan and once it was cleared up, they were able to get back on track and contribute effectively to the project. Okay. Uh, can you describe a situation where you had to handle a setback at work? Uh, there was a time when I was working on a project and things didn't go as planned. But I, I just moved on and started working on the next thing. Okay, can you tell me about the situation in more detail and what you did to handle the setback? Uh, it was just one of those things that didn't work out. I don't really think there was much I could have done differently. Okay. The candidate is too critical of others and fails to take responsibility for their own actions. This overall shows a lack of teamwork and collaboration skills, which is something that most interviewers look down upon. Well, um, can you describe a situation where you had to handle a setback at work? Yes, there was a time when I was leading a project uh, and one of our key supplier didn't deliver the material we needed on time. This put the project behind the schedule and put a lot of pressure on the team. So I immediately scheduled a meeting with the team to assess the situation and come up with a plan. We worked together to find alternative suppliers, prioritize tasks and adjust the project timelines as well. Uh, as a result, we were able to complete the project on time and meet the client's expectations as well. Okay. Can you tell me about the situation in more detail and what you did to handle the setback? Uh, when I encountered a setback, I recognized it was important to stay calm and focused. I also knew that the situation required immediate attention. So I scheduled a meeting with the team right away. Through open communication and collaboration, we were able to identify the problem and also find the solution to it. I also look, uh, took the opportunity to reflect on what I could have done differently to prevent the setback from happening in the first place and then make changes to prevent similar setbacks from happening in the future. Great. Thank you for your time today. We'll be in touch with you. Well, guys, uh, I really hope you found this video informative and educational. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues. And if you want to continue learning about how to ace your next interview, be sure to subscribe to The Fluent Life. Our channel is dedicated to providing helpful and practical tips on how to achieve success in your career and life. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.